This is the heart of corn country in the south of Brazil and this is the region's premier agricultural event. There are around 300,000 farmers here in Parana State alone in the south of Brazil and this is their major trade event, a bit like UK cereals. Having said that, it might just have the edge over cereals. It's impossible to discuss Brazilian agriculture without talking about GMOs and transgenics and behind me are demonstration plots from Monsanto. These are all genetically modified maize crops. This is a country that's wholeheartedly embraced GM technology but at the same time remains acutely aware of the controversy. And I've been talking to farmers out here to see what GM crops have achieved for their businesses. Certainly one of the things you can't help but notice is how much investment this country is making into food production and agriculture. For example, these are trial plots from Codatech. Codatech is a farmer-backed research organisation developing GM and conventional varieties. It's backed by around 180,000 farmers here in Piranha State. But there are plenty of more familiar names here as well. Now, it wouldn't be Farmers Weekly without a man kneeling in some crops. But this is an example of why transgenics and conventional breeding aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. This is genetically modified soya, it's ground up ready, it's resistant to glyphosate, so you can make one pass with a sprayer, take out all your broadleaf weeds and reduce your herbicides by five to ten passes. This is also genetically modified, it's also ground up ready. But one of the problems they have here is uh, herbicide tolerance to, uh, to glyphosate in some of the more pernicious broadleaf weeds. And this is an example of a genetically modified uh, crop it's also been conventionally bred to withstand another herbicide. So you've got two possible applications. So while you've got the benefits of the GM crop, you've also got the benefits of conventional breeding. I expect a few people would have seen soya growing. We don't grow it in the UK after all. It's been stripped here of its, of its leaves to show you just the pods and the, and the yield potential of this variety. This is soya, this is the soya bean. And it's quite amazing to think that this is the protein that most of the world's humanity and most of its livestock survive on. <laughs> 